Welcome back. This is Watertown 365. It is May 28th. We are here with Watertown's latest scoops, news, and stories. Two business highlights. And speaking of business highlights, first up, we would like to mention Perry Optical Vision Center. They are open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you can find out all about them at Perry Optical ny.com where they talk about quality eye care services for jefferson county everything that you wanted to know about your eyes but were afraid to ask they are located on arsenal streets and that they have an interesting website here where they tell you everything you need to know about opticians they tell you don't wait until your eyesight goes or you have eye pain you should ideally be getting your eyesight checked as regularly as possible PerryOpticalNY.com as we get started talking about the latest uh, news in the Watertown area such as the Watertown Farmers Market kicking off their season. We will be speaking about the Frost Advisory for most of North Country, about the Mount Carmel Feast which has been canceled again for the second year in a row, and so many things about COVID-19 happening in Jefferson County. So let's talk about how the Watertown Farmer's Market has kicked off its season. This was one of the few summer events that was not lost in the COVID-19 pandemic last year. We need to get logged in and find out about the Watertown Farmer's Market. And we need to get logged in somehow. Here's a photo of it. And this is back for its 45th year. The Greater Watertown North Country Chamber of Commerce puts on the farmer's market held along sections of Washington and Sterling Streets. With things getting back to normal, Chamber of Commerce Chief Executive Officer Kylie S. Peck was pleased with turnout and the weather. It was busy during the noon hour with people strolling through more than 20 vendors that were there on Wednesday. Next up, burning is banned year-round in the city of Watertown. New York's burn ban may have been lifted earlier this month, but not for cities like Watertown. The State Department of Environmental Conservation prohibits burning brush from mid-March to mid-May every year. But for a municipality with a population of 20,000 or more, that ban runs year-round. Watertown Fire Chief Matt Timerman says it's because people and homes tend to be closer together in those areas. He does say some outdoor fires, like a campfire or small cooking fire, are always allowed in the city, but people need to be considerate. Watertown Rapids begin to gear up for the season. It was a year ago that City of Watertown officials made the difficult decision to leave the outdoor swimming pool closed because of the increasing number of COVID-19 infections and the risk of contracting the virus. Jeremy Herbold is the program manager for Watertown Park and Recreation. The outdoor pool is scheduled to reopen on June 2nd. With the pool being closed for a year, the city was presented with new challenges as they worked to make sure the new staff was in place and ready this year. Herbolt says pre-season passes can be purchased online until June 1st. We have a frost advisory that has been issued for most of North Country. Just when you think it's gone, that cold weather sneaks back in. The National Weather Service out of Buffalo and Burlington have issued frost advisories for locations across uh, Jefferson, Lewis, and southeastern St. Lawrence counties. There we go. I was trying to get the, the picture to be just in full, full view there. According to the NWS, temperatures in the lower 30s will result in frost formations overnight into the early morning hours. Local residents are urged to protect tender plants as this weather has the potential to kill sensitive outdoor vegetation if left uncovered. The advisory will take effect for all counties starting at 1 a.m. on Friday, May 28th and expire at 8 a.m. on the same day. Watertown's Mount Carmel Feast has been canceled again. Watertown's popular Mount Carmel Feast has been canceled for the second year in a row. Like last year, it's out of concern for people's health and safety concerns due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. 
Changing guidance and protocols from state and federal health officials make it difficult to plan the event, which is typically held in the last weekend in June. Instead, the church says, they will be the Mount Carmel procession on Sunday, June 27th, and they are looking at the possibility of having a drive through menu on Friday, June 25th, and Saturday, June 26th. North Country Residents Called to Complete 2021 Community Health Survey Residents in Jefferson, Lewis, and St. Lawrence counties are being called to submit an annual community health survey. On Thursday, May 26th, the Fort Drum Regional Health Planning Organization and the North Country Health Compass Partners will begin making calls to community members for its 2021 Community Health Survey. The Community Health Survey is completed annually, annually and asks local adults about their thoughts and experiences with health care. All responses are kept anonymous and are used to assess local programming, identify specific health needs, and create plans to address found needs. The telephone portion of the survey is set to be completed the week of May 24th using randomly selected phone numbers within the three counties. The survey will also be distributed to a number of email addresses of the region's residents. Fort Drum Regional Health Planning Organization shared that its goal is to have a minimum of 1,300 adults complete the survey resulting in roughly 500 from each county. Results from the 2021 Community Health Survey are expected to be released in the fall of 2021. Now let's get to two business highlights. We already mentioned the... Let me uh, find him again. We were talking about Perry Optical Vision over there on Arsenal Street, but also on Arsenal Street, we have B. Hats Curry House, which is a Nepalese... Indian restaurant. B Hats Curry House is U.S. Army veteran owned and this ethnic restaurant is proud to serve traditional Indian and Nepalese cuisines. Here are some photos of what they put out. Their goal is to serve a wide variety of delicious, authentic Indian and Nepalese foods and popular beverages in a clean, attractive, and comfortable environment. This is the best Indian restaurant in Watertown, New York, ready to serve you. They are located at 1222 Arsenal Street in Watertown. They are closed Monday, but they, if we can get that pasted in there, they're closed Monday, but they are open Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 9 and Sunday 12 to 9. And they are located at where uh, where 3 and 81 come together over by the Chipotle and the Dick's Sporting Goods and the, the Salmon Run Mall over there with the Hobby Lobby and the Olive Garden. B. Hats Curry House. If you have not had Indian food recently, then here's your friendly reminder. And also, Cam's Pizzeria is next up. And we will... Check out Cam's Pizzeria over on Public Square. Maybe you've seen the outside of this previously. Cam's Pizzeria puts you in the forefront of their service to provide you the perfect pizza experience. Cam's does not compromise quality, and they always prepare their food with love. Cam's is open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 9, and Sunday, 12 to 9. So same deal with the... B Hats Curry House. It's a, a open at lunch and then open for dinner a kind of establishment. That is at 25 Public Square, if you know where that is. And that is over down there by the Vito's Gourmet, uh, over by the river, that it, and over by Arsenal Street also. So 25 Public Square, that is Cam's Pizzeria. Let's pull up for the video version here some pictures of the food at Cam's Pizzeria in Watertown. And we'll see what people posted. Hey, looks pretty good. Garlic knots and butter and some pizza slices. Now let's talk about COVID-19. COVID claims another life and infects 15 more people in the Tri-County region. 
Jefferson, Lewis, and St. Lawrence counties reported 15 new cases of the coronavirus on Wednesday. Jefferson County additionally announced that one person died from COVID. And we have some exact numbers here. Jefferson County reported seven infections, one death. They've had 7,000 cases total, six hospitalized, 87 deaths, but then also 6,900 recovered. Next, St. Lawrence County, five new cases, 7,400 since COVID began, 96 deaths, three people currently hospitalized, 89 active cases, 7,200 have been released from isolation, and then Lewis County, three new cases, bringing the total since the pandemic began to 2,346, death toll remains at 30, two people are hospitalized, and 2,288 people have recovered from the virus since the start of the pandemic. And thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. Don't forget to visit our website, which is at watertown365.com to stay up to date on our local news. The Facebook page is at water er, facebook.com slash watertown365. And you can uh, come here, like the page, and see what we are talking about uh, this day in history. It's been National Hamburger Day, the founding of St. Petersburg. Uh, you can stay up to date on everything we're talking about at facebook.com slash watertown365. Watertown365 is the place to visit us on the web. Make sure to like our page and find out what we have going on. And we will talk to you very soon uh, with some more Watertown updates. Stay safe. Stay safe. Have fun, and we will be back in update with you very soon. Watertown365.com. Have a nice weekend.